Hello there. Welcome to series 12. I want to let you all know that this video or any of the videos of the series is not to harass, bully, or to um, defame anyone at all. Uh, so I had to put that disclaimer out there, not to harass, bully, or defame anyone, okay? But I'm letting you guys know the series of events that has been going on. If you have been a victim of the fraud and deceptive practices of Pastor Freedom, then you are able to sign the petition that's going on right now in the link description below, okay? With that being said, let's go ahead and finish up these text messages from series 11. Now, when I switched the cash app from Paths to Freedom to Soul of a Woman, the amount was $1,700 that I sent to her daughter, okay? Now we're gonna go ahead and continuously read these text messages. Let's go. Let's have a moment of silence. And I want y'all to also look at the dates now. Now, as you can see, that's a lot of shit, ain't it? Now, me even reading back over it with y'all is pissing me off 10 times more. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. Let's continue. If I'm such a thief, 
why are you steady talking to me? I felt the way for Christmas. I felt the way because I'm like, damn, we could have really had a good time. But then on the 27th of December, she took it upon herself to try to get YouTube to take the clean credit beneficiary down. See, YouTube tells you where the copyright claim comes from if the material belongs to that person. And as you can see, I sent it to Caleb as well. And that's what pissed me off. That's when I called Caleb and I told Caleb what, you know, what the fuck was going on. He probably already knew what was going on. Oh, fucking well. So he told her that I was threatening her over the phone like a little bitch that he is. And at the end of the day, if I said it or not said it, that don't give you the right to come to my house and try to kick my fucking door in. You tried to kick my door in because on the phone with your daughter, I told her to take your phone and look through your mama's messages and you'll see who's starting the shit. But hey, all the messages are here now. So now her daughter will be able to see my mama fucked up. My mama is a liar. Period. Now, unfortunately, YouTube did not take the video down. They saw that it was mine. They seen where it came from. And that's just what it is. But all this other shit that she got going on, she retarded. So now we're going to fast forward to June. I started working with Marcus. Marcus asked me to promote him. She wanted to work with Marcus first or however that go. I don't know. I don't know the situation between her and Marcus. All I know is he asked me to promote him like I promoted Pastor Freedom. I told him yes. I said, is your stuff legit? He told me, yes, it is. I said, okay, I'll promote you. After the class, I have never promoted Marcus again. I got my payment and that's how that went. But she got mad because Marcus was, Marcus wanted me to promote him. So again, here's the text messages when they were talking about me on TikTok. I called her, it went straight to voicemail. And then I called Caleb. It went straight to voicemail, so I sent messages. Again, here's the messages from Caleb and I. Now that was from June of 2023. So some weeks went past, everything was fine. And next thing you know, I fucking look up and hear the bitch go harassing me and fucking stalking me again. From this new number. A 346 number. Take a look at these text messages. So yet again, out of the blue, here we go. Out of the blue, you're talking about the feds. Out of the blue, you're talking about this list. I don't give a fuck, right? Like I said then and prior back in November of 2022, 2023, send them. Because what I do know about the feds is they're going to track and trace every fucking thing. So I don't give a flying fuck. I can have coffee with them. I'm not running. They know where I'm at. So I don't give a flying fuck. But this is what's leading up to now. This is what I was saying to people on my TikTok. Take a look. Hello there. Um, I just came on here to give a little quick chat for a second. I would appreciate it that if, you know, anybody that's affiliated or anybody that is trying to get information from other people to please do not come asking me questions about that um, particular group. You might have seen that I was affiliated once upon a time. That once upon a time is a part of my past and I am not affiliated with them anymore. My birth certificate and a lot of things that I've done was before I even met them. Um, so I would appreciate it that if you have questions, you go directly to the source and ask your questions. Okay. Um, that's like, if I wanted to see if Hershey kisses, 
you know, tasted like real chocolate, I would call the company and ask the company, um, what, what is it that you have in your ingredients? I wouldn't go to Skittles and ask Skittles about Hershey. Okay. I wouldn't, I would not do that. Okay. So whatever it is that you have questions about, leave your questions and get on the telephone or send your emails to them. Please do not come to me because you're not going to get what you're looking for. And I'm going to tell you why you're not going to get that. Because I don't bash a company when I leave the company. Do you understand? Like, for instance, I will never bash uh, Davida because me and Davida had um, a disagreement. Um, that is for the other people that want to figure out if that dialysis company is for them or for Cineas. I'm about peace, love, and light, baby. Um, I don't have time for drama. I don't have time for any of that. So if you're looking for me to bash, that is not going to happen here. Okay? It is just not going to happen here. If you have any questions or where to render your funds to, you must call that company and ask them. Do not ask me because I don't know. I don't know what anyone is out here selling. I don't know what anyone is out here doing. I have not a clue. So it would be appreciated if um, I do not get questioned. It'll be appreciated if I do not get emails or inboxes about um, a different entity. I love being at peace. I love being light. I love being happy. I love being all that I can be. But talking about other people is not what I feel like doing. I hope you all understand that. And um, if you choose to spend your money, that's what you choose to do. But do not ask me questions if you should spend it here. I don't know. And I really don't care. That, that was done in May, okay? How was I talking about you? Oh, now we're getting somewhere. Oh, Lord. Little do y'all all know. <laughs> Before it was past the freedom, it was called BGC. When she met me at 19K following, then we became past the freedom. That's how that went. Let's get that correct. My birth certificate was authenticated in Michigan already way before she found me in April of last year. So let, it was already gone to Michigan. I was already waiting on it to come back authenticated, me and my children. Okay, since you, you think you know it all. <laughs> but if you go ahead and listen to the videos, yes, Caleb made an ebook out of authentication. Yes, he did. But we never, which I can vouch for, she never said that you needed the BC authenticated just to operate the things that she teach. Okay, she never said that. She, she matter of fact, she quite tells people that you don't need to authenticate your birth certificate because me and her came to the conclusion that you don't need it authenticated. It's just wasting time. <laughs> but if you want it to be authenticated, then go ahead, you know? But find the video of me stating that I said that you needed to have it authenticated. Now, I see that you were being sent. And since you want to be sent like a little puppet, that you are because you said the words that they're doing just fine. I don't give a damn who's doing what. I don't care. I don't beef over none of this shit. So I can care less about anything. I, I, I don't I don't care. <laughs> I learned authentication of birth certificates through the Hellraiser and a couple of other people off of YouTube. <laughs> Something that you didn't know nothing about. You think that I learned from them. I didn't learn that from them because they don't, we, back then, we didn't teach that process. And I never said that you had to get it authenticated. With that being said, I'm doing just fine as well. And I'm not bothering you or any other people. And if you want to make your funds, you make your money the best way that you know how. But it's not going to be, you're not going to be promoted on my page unless you have some money. I'll promote you then. Until then, goodbye, my love, and speak on what you know of, because you know nothing. Goodbye. 
her people started coming in June when I started promoting markets. <laughs> now, if I'm such a fucking thief, why did you try to have me as an affiliate in 2023 through Gumroad? But I'm a thief. But you tried to make me an affiliate to your shit. I declined it because I want all my money. I want the money that Caleb sold that ebook, clean your credit, the beneficiary style. Yeah, bitch, I want my money. You're not going to give me no percentage of my shit. So I ignored the email. But I guess you thought I wasn't going to find it. Oh, what's going to be your lie? Oh, uh, she used to, I gave her affiliate link before, so Gumroad automatically does it. No, the fuck they don't. You have to put that in there personally. They're going to, you got to personally put that in there. But you tried to make me an affiliate to that shit. But I'm a thief. If I was a thief, why would you do that? I wouldn't be paying a bitch shit. Nothing. But let's continue. But why? So now it makes sense of why she called me and cussed me out back then. So now it makes sense. She was trying to stop me from working or promoting Marcus. And I ignored her ass. And that's why in July, it all makes sense now. She was cussing me out. Because her and Marcus was going back and forth on it at it, y'all. Like, her and Marcus and Caleb, like, they was into it real bad. Like, Marcus was calling me like, yeah, this bitch done called you a crackhead. And I'm like, I ain't worried about nothing that girl got to say. That girl is miserable, okay? It shows she's miserable. <laughs> Let's get on over to the last of the last of the last of the last of the, last of the series, y'all series 13 let's go got me thinking her mama ain't her damn mama she really played on my heart y'all 